Hello everybody, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to remove malware from your computer with free tools. To demonstrate here I've got a badly infected VM with a bunch of both rare and common malware. First of all, let's consider the types of malware removal tools and why you might want to use a certain type of tool. First of all, we have second opinion scanners. These are tools that, as the name suggests, are designed to step in for your antivirus if it has missed something. Second opinion scanners are particularly useful when you suspect something is wrong with your system, but your main security software insists that everything is fine. These tools don't interfere with your existing antivirus, since they're typically on-demand scanners. They can be of great help when you're dealing with malware not detected by your antivirus, or especially this one especially applies if you're using Windows Defender, if the malware has added an exception to protect itself from your antivirus. My personal preferences in this category are Sophos Scan and Clean and Emisoft Emergency Kit because they are both free to use, portable, and lightweight. Sophos Scan and Clean performs similarly to Hitman Pro, but unlike the former, is fully free instead of being trialware. Emisoft has a partnership with Bitdefender, so in addition to getting their engine, you also get Bitdefender's scanning engine for additional accuracy. With this combination, you are getting very good coverage completely for free, so if this malware isn't totally novel and undetected, it's probably going to get caught with these powerful tools. Now here we've got our VM. Now it's not looking great so far, we got a couple of things that shouldn't be running, the thing is running pretty slow, and it's got a crypto miner installed, so we're gonna get rid of all of those uh, so I'm going to show you how to download these. Now, if your VM is or computer is seriously infected and you're not able to actually download these programs, there is another thing you can do. You can simply put these on a USB flash drive. They are portable, so you can just run them off of a flash drive. That is another option. This VM, we are able to install them. And if that's a real issue, then you should stay tuned because we're going to cover uh, some other tools that can completely get around the issue. Now, first of all, we'll run Sophos Scan and Clean, accept the terms and conditions, and it gets straight to work with no installation required, and pretty quickly, it's found a bunch of stuff. Now, I have a grievance with malware tools that flag tracking cookies, which are harmless and not malware as malware, but uh, some of them do this. It's irrelevant, but it does inflate the amount of detections, which I think is why they do it. It'll say, oh, look, it's found all this stuff but it does in a few seconds find all of our malware. So good work. Now we're gonna check out Emisoft. So we'll run that, go through the installation process. This one is a little bit more complicated than the super easy process of Sophos Scan and Clean, and it immediately gets to work loading its malware signatures, making sure that it is up to date. We gotta, of course, agree to a license agreement. And then you got to be a bit careful here, because at first I clicked the quick scan, which actually doesn't do very much. The one you want is the malware scan. So going on here to malware scan, I will give that, it shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Despite saying that this one isn't quick, it actually, and now we've got a couple of hits. We got adware, we got miner, got jalapeno, which is one of our payloads that we've got installed here. Interestingly, it does not catch the packed stage of the stealer, but it does catch the persistent stage, so I'd give that a half mark. Sophos performed better here, but I strongly recommend trying both as they are both free, and depending on all sorts of factors, your mileage may vary. Both of these programs successfully restored this VM to a state where it is safe to use, which is really all we can ask for. Emisoft also has a bit more nagware in it, but it's perfectly fine given it is a free product. Now we're going to look at tools that work when your operating system doesn't. The obvious choice of this category is Microsoft Defender Offline, which is freely included with Windows. This kind of tool helps with particularly destructive or stubborn malware that can hide from or just block the execution of anti-malware programs outright. This also works against malware that just adds an exemption that shouldn't be there. Since these programs operate outside of the infected OS, it has a much better chance of detecting and removing deeply hidden malware. It doesn't matter if a rootkit has hidden the folder, if you're not booted within the operating system, you're still going to see it. 
Microsoft Defender Offline is a solid option because it's built into Windows, making it easy to access. You can trigger it directly from Windows Security and it will restart the computer into a specialized scanning mode. However, if the infection is too bad and either Windows Security is completely borked or Windows just won't boot at all, you'll need to create a bootable USB or DVD using the built-in Defender Offline utility that can do this for you. Now let's try this out. Given our VM is still booting, we can go through to Scan Options, and then we can go to Microsoft Defender Offline Scan. We will click Scan Now, and this will immediately restart our system. Now we see this Please Wait, and now we get this interface, and we can proceed with the scan. Your PC is being scanned. This may take a while. When it's done, your PC will re restart. So we're now back in Windows after the scan concluded, and let's see if it did anything. Now, unfortunately, uh, the detection rate wasn't as good on this. Uh, it did not catch, at least it doesn't seem to have caught anything, which, given it's Windows Defender, is unfortunately not totally surprising, but I was expecting it to get them. The good news is that malware that would disable those other programs is generally more obvious, but if you're not happy with this, there are other choices. Unfortunately, they're usually not available with the free plan. Kaspersky includes Kaspersky Rescue Disk, which is an option for people outside of the US. Then we've got ESET and Bitdefender also both have their own equivalent products, ESET SysRescue and Bitdefender Rescue Environment, which have a similar effect. I would say those are only last results if you're unable to run the second opinion scanners. Now here is the downloader for the offline tool if you did want to use it on a dedicated flash drive. So here are the terms of service, and I'm just going to save it as an ISO because I don't have a flash drive on this VM. And we can do that and create an ISO so that we could use this. We could do this on one computer and then plug it into another. So if the system is completely non-functional, this can be a good way of reviving. And here's what it looks like. You could use that. Now that is the end of the automated tools, but that doesn't mean it's the end of what you can do. Now, of course, as I've shown before, you can use tools like SysInternals, or you can use a tool called FRST, which is the Fireball Recovery Scan Tool. Now, this is not an automated tool. You, you or usually what people will do is they will download this, run it, and then they will go on a form for help. Uh, the Bleeping Computer and Malwarebytes forms are quite common for this, where people will be able to get help. Ironically, Windows Defender doesn't like this program, I guess because it's unsigned. And there we go, we get our disclaimer. And the way this works is we just run scan and it can list out basically everything. It'll find everything that's running on the system, everything that's set to automatically run. And the cool thing about it is it's also got an easy interface where someone can help you, give you what's called a fix list that can get rid of the problem entries. Also suddenly while this was running, got a Windows Defender hit on that fake galaxy swapper. Took a while, but did work. Okay, so now we've got our TXT that would indicate what was running and whether any of these things shouldn't be here. Also shows things like the hosts, which just shows my sample server. So see all of our extensions and recently created files, which could give us an indication of where things might be hiding. Of course, given this is a recent VM, that's going to be less useful. This is a manual process, but with the help of a skilled technician, you can get rid of more stuff. And this is an easy way of sharing what's on your computer so that someone can more easily determine if you do have a malware problem. I would just suggest, uh, while this is designed to filter some personal information, it's not a terrible idea to just look through this before sharing a log just to make sure there's nothing that would upset you if it were to be posted on a public forum. So. That is going to be all for this video on automated malware removal. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any tools you like or don't like, if you've had any experiences, and if you have used any of these tools. That's all from me for now. Bye!